What's up everyone and welcome to the club. In today's video, I'm gonna show you step by step on how to draw a toucan. Let's begin our lesson by sketching a circle along the top of our page for the head. We're gonna use a side grip, sketching with a flat edge. Let's start from the very top. It's gonna to lightly work our way around towards the bottom of our circle and then back up towards the top. From the top of our circle, we'll move over towards the right and draw the top edge of the beak. I'm going to curve this up, and then bend that down towards the tip of the beak. And then from here, we're just going to pull this up and then in towards the right side of our circle. And then from the bottom right side of our circle, we're just going to curve the bottom of the beak going up and then bending that down. Let's go back up to the top of the beak on the inside, draw a straight line coming down, and go straight out towards the bottom of the beak. Now from the center of the head, we're gonna move up and draw a smaller circle for the eye. And then from here, we're gonna work our way down the body. From the right side of our circle, we're gonna step over, sketch a short line coming down towards the body. Then from here we're going to draw a larger circle, going up in the middle, going all the way around, and then back up on the right side. Now the point where the beak meets that circle, we're going to curve this up a little bit higher, come around the back, and then just pull that in towards that bottom circle. From the bottom edge of the head, we're going to curve the back and going out, and then we'll bend that down. Now let's close off the bottom of the body. Starting down here, we'll go straight across, and then we'll bend that up towards the right side of the body. Let's add the tail along the back. From this point, draw a straight angle line coming down and out towards the end. Draw a straight line coming in. Now the tail's gonna get narrower as it come back in towards the body. From the top edge of the tail, we're gonna leave a gap, move over towards the right, add a half circle, coming down and then up. And leave a gap and do the same thing on the right, coming down and then back up. From the bottom of that half circle on the left, draw a straight angle line coming down towards the foot and we'll add a small circle on the end. Let's go to the bottom on the right, draw a straight line going out, and then again, sketch a small circle. Now we're going to draw a toucan standing on top of a branch. So in the center of these circles, draw a straight line going across, and we'll extend this out towards the left, coming down, and then up on the right. Now from here, we're going to add a second level of detail. Let's add that patch in the front of the body, starting from the left side of that circle, draw a straight line coming down. It's going to round out the bottom and then go out towards the right side of the body. On the left side, I'm just going to curve this up and then out towards the back. Let's go to the top of the tail on the inside, curve this up and then in. Now I'm going to go up and add some detail to the beak. Starting from the top, I'm just going to curve this in and then out towards that seam. And then from that same point, curve this up and in, aiming towards the eye, and it'll round out the end. Now I'm going to add some feathers coming down along the back. Starting from this point, curve this down and out across the tail, come down and in towards the leg. Let's add some claws on the left foot. Starting from the center of the circle, draw a straight line coming down, go back to the center and angle this down towards the right. Now I'm gonna add some claws along the top. Starting from the center, curve this up and then down towards the top of the branch and do the same thing on the right side. Now we'll add some claws on the right side. Starting from the center, curve this out and then down, go back to the center, go across and then down. Now that we have the basic shape of our bird, we're going to go back and lightly erase some of these guidelines.
Once we're happy with the general proportions of our drawing, we'll go back in with the tip of our pencil and start adding some details. Let's start with the eye. I'm just gonna trace out that circle on the outside, going all the way around. And then we'll trace that circle along the inside, leaving a slight gap along the sides. Let's add a curved highlight in the center, and it'll darken up the bottom. And I want to add a lighter shade along the top half of the eye. Let's add a small circle in the center of the eye, and then we'll fill that in. Now from here, I'm just going to add a few wrinkles along the outside of the eye. Just going all the way around on the bottom. Then we'll add a second layer around. And using the side edge of our pencil, we're just going to darken up the area around the eye. And then we'll blend that out. Now going up to the top edge of the beak, we're going to start to add some detail and shape. Going all the way down towards the bottom. And we'll enhance that center seam going all the way across. Now tracing out the top of the beak. And we'll add some shape along the bottom. Now using the side edge of our pencil, we're going to add a light shade to the inside of the beak, along the top and bottom. And then using the side edge of our pencil, we're just going to darken up the tip of the beak. Start with a light edge, and then working our way down towards the tip. I'm just going to add a darker shadow across the bottom. Let's bring that marking down across the bottom of the beak. Darken that up. And we'll add a lighter shade along the inside trim. Just a slightly darker tone. And we'll add a shadow across the bottom of the beak and fade that up. I'm going to cast a little highlight along the top edge of the beak using the side edge of my pencil, just enhancing that line, and then we'll fade this down. I'm going to go back and add a thick, dark trim on the inside of the beak. From top to bottom, and across the bottom edge. Let's add a little bit more detail across the beak. Just adding these little points. And also along the bottom. I'm just going to refine that detail and add a little bit more shadow across that seam. And 
Now using the side edge of our pencil, we're just gonna trace out that trim. And again, just adding a little bit more detail and texture. Almost like adding a fur texture along the edge. Pulling these down. And just refine the shape a little bit more along the bottom. And then come up along the side of the body. Just add a little bit more shading around the eyes. Coming in towards the beak. Then down underneath the chin. Add a little shadow along the bottom and then fade that up. And then we'll add a light feather texture along the inside. Just using these short lines going up and down, going across from left to right. And then with the tip of our pencil, we're just going to enhance that fur edge. Now going back to the side edge of our pencil, I'm just going to add that fur across the head, starting across this line, just pulling this up and back towards the left. Now you want to stay within that line, within that boundary, going across, and we'll just soften up the edge. And going back to the tip of our pencil, we're going to refine that fur edge. Just pulling this in towards that tone, starting from the outside. And also refining the shape. And then from the inside, working our way out. Now I'm going to go back and add an even shade across the top of the back. Again, using these short lines just to fill that space in. And then going back down towards the bottom with the side edge of our pencil, we're just going to darken up the edge. Just pulling these lines coming in. And we'll start to lengthen these out. And from the top, we'll work our way down. Just add a lighter fur just underneath the chest area. Just going across towards the right. And enhancing the edge with the tip of our pencil. And now using the side edge, I'm just going to darken up the back underneath that feather. And then just using these short lines just to get this started. And a little bit lighter as we go up. And that'll help create that contrast with the top of the body. Now we're going to start filling in the body. darkening up the bottom and we'll fade that out as we go up. And again, just using the tip of our pencil to add some texture. And 
add some light feathers along the back. Just some even pressure going all the way around on the top and bottom. And then adding the detail on the outside, starting across the bottom. A slight curve. And then from the top, pulling these down. And then going all the way down towards the end of the tail and working away up in an angle. coming down. I'm just going to fill in the top of the legs, those little half circles that we created. And adding a little bit more shape. And I'm just going to pull the fur coming down past the side edge of that half circle. And now we're just going to add some thickness to the legs. Starting with the outside. And curving the back claws. Add a light shade along the inside to help reduce those guidelines. You know, add some texture along the inside. And we'll roughly block in the top edge of that branch. The side edge of our pencil. Just working our way out from the feet. And adding a light shade along the inside. And then fading that out towards the bottom. adding a rough treatment of texture inside the branch. And this final step, I'm gonna go back and add some more contrast to our drawing. Starting with the eye. Enhancing those wrinkles.
And as we get near the end of our drawing, we'll tighten up our shadows and add a little bit more detail. And that's pretty much it. There's a sketch illustration of a toucan. I hope you enjoyed today's lesson. If you did, please make sure you subscribe because I'm posting new lessons every single day. You can also drop your requests in the comments below. I want to thank you for watching and I'll see you again soon.